I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we're sharing a formulation I'm quite excited about. It's a cocoa coconut simple conditioner bar. I've shared conditioner bars in the past, but they usually have fairly long ingredient lists, and I wanted to create something that was simpler. So this one has just six ingredients. The conditioning part of this bar comes from BTMS 50, which is 50% the Hentrimonium methyl sulfate. I absolutely love what BTMS does for my hair. I used the conditioner bar last night. It just, it feels so good. The slip is just fantastic. Your hair feels so conditioned and gorgeous and it's it's absolutely lovely. As you can probably guess from the name, there's also a hefty dose of both cocoa butter and coconut oil, leading more towards the cocoa butter because we want this to be solid. Both of the ones I used are from Baraka Shea Butter. They were gifted and they are gorgeously fragrant and absolutely lovely. Make sure whichever cocoa butter and coconut oil you choose for this formulation smell just amazing because that's where all the scent in this conditioner bar comes from. A blend of subtle alcohol and stearic acid harden these bars. In early experiments I was working with just subtle alcohol but I found I really did need that hardening kick from stearic acid to get these to be hard enough. A lot of my earlier versions of these bars really softened a lot in the shower to the point of really only getting maybe one or two uses out of them before I was sort of just like nice smelling kind of palm slob. So yeah subtle alcohol and stearic acid keep these bars solid so you can use them more than a handful of times. If you want to learn more about this formulation, please make sure you are reading the full partner blog post, which is linked in the description box below. You'll find a lot more information there, including information about substitutions, scaling, shelf life, where to buy ingredients, and where I got the mold for these bars, and yeah, a lot more. Come on, let's get started. We'll begin by combining our heated phase ingredients in a small beaker. You'll need 10.8 grams of a gorgeous, fragrant, unrefined cocoa butter, 6.12 grams virgin coconut oil, 7.2 grams BTMS 50, 2.52 grams stearic acid, and 9 grams subtle alcohol. To melt this together, I will be using the oven. So I've preheated my oven to approximately 80 degrees Celsius, and I'm going to go pop this on a baking sheet in the oven to melt everything through. You can try melting it in a water bath, but I personally find that BTMS 50 really doesn't like melting in water baths for me. So it's much faster to just pop this in a relatively cool oven and get her done. Once the mixture is melted, you can remove it from the oven. And now all that's left to do is to add our preservative and then quickly pour the mixture into our mold. I'm gonna pop that onto our scale, tear it, and add 0 0.36 grams Optifin Plus, which is a uh, reasonably heat resistant preservative, so we're not too, too worried about adding it here, it's up to 80 degrees, and that is about the temperature that I heated the oven to. And for our mold, I've got this rather <laughs> on-brand silicone mold with a honeycomb and bumblebee cavities, and each one of these holds about 12 grams. They'll kind of do up to 15, but 12 if you want to maybe carry it to the fridge, which is what we're going to do. So I'm just going to Divide this mix between three of the little honeycomb ones, taking care to leave just a little bit of space at the top of each of these little molds. Uh, if you're interested in this mold, I purchased it on Amazon and I will uh, throw a link to it in the blog post. And yeah, I've just got it on a cutting board here so I can easily carry it to the fridge where I'm going to go put it to set up. Once the bars have set up, you can remove your mold from the fridge and then remove the bars from the mold. With these silicone molds, I kind of generally find that easing the sides away is a good place to start. Kind of just massaging up through the bottom to pop the bar out. And that is pretty much it. So there we go. We just made some cocoa coconut simple conditioner bars. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please make sure you are reading the full partner blog post linked in the description box below this video. You'll find a ton more information there, including information on substitutions, scaling, shelf life, where to buy ingredients, and yeah, just lots of helpful stuff. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.